Hi everybody, it's Susan from Misty Mountain. Um, it's 2.30 in the morning. I just wanted to do a video up and show you guys some pictures that I've taken over the last week. Um, there's been a lot of stuff happening around here. I do have my K2 set up in the corner there on my by my fish tank, you can see it. Um, I'll go ahead and split the screen so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, this photo was taken. Most of my photos are in my backyard, in my lot area. Um, and if you've seen my other orb videos, you know that I get a lot of multicolored orbs. And there's this one that's like a reddish orange. And there's a female p face in it. Um, I've noted my husband commented that this face and orb seem to be in a lot of my photos. And it's not just the same night. It's every time I take photos, I usually end up with this orb in different areas as well as a blue one. Um, there's another one here. That looks very odd to me. It's a face, but where the eyes are, there's there's no definition. It's like a blank hollow. This, I think, is a bug because it is actually warm enough out to have them flying around right now. Um, there's quite a few, and like these, I think, may be bugs, but I'm not sure. Um... This is interesting. This has also been happening inside my house. We've been, I've been taking photos and I'll catch like a mist. And if you look at it, there's, um, it's almost like there's orbs or energy or something forming in the mist. And there's again, an orb right here that has something in it, but I can't tell what it is. So if you guys, let me know what you think you see. Or if you see something that I don't point out, make note of it and let me know. And it's like there's a mist forming in this area as well. I'll move on to the next one. In this one, it was taken about a minute to two minutes after that last one I just showed you. And you see there's my dog, Ginger. And then I can't account really for what this is. It might be a light reflection, but I'm not sure. Um, but the interesting thing is, if you look here, there's a well house that kind of comes out here. You can see the edge of the roof. But there's a figure right here. And I'll move on. This one was taken actually a couple of days before that first set. Um, and again, you see that mist. And just prior to this, I had been doing an EVP session. And I asked the spirits if they could show themselves to me on my camera. And then as a rule, I generally will take a bunch of photos after I do an EVP session. And if you notice, there's like, I don't know, almost like energy waves or something here. But if you look in this section, right here, there's a figure. You can see arms going up, arm, a head, and a body torso. And it's been suggested to me that that almost looks like a tail or something coming up through. But you can see like a mouth, an eye, an eye, and what looks almost like a nose, and the definition of a face with a neck. And then this was taken the same time that I had taken the first ones I had shown you. And there's the red orb. It's over in this side, different type of face. I'll 
zoom back out. That's just my bird feeder the light reflecting off of it. But if I zoom back into this area, the figures there with a face, arm, arm, torso. And if I zoom out, it's still there. It's not, it doesn't get blurry or anything. And then this was taken right after that one I just showed you. That red orb is gone. There's now a shadowy type thing right here forming. And my dog was barking and growling. That's Ginger and that's Harley. She was not very happy at all. And if you notice, she's staring right at this figure. It's more defined. You can see a face now. You can see what looks almost like a long robe or something or a coat. I don't know. Um, I definitely was not feeling very good. I felt like something was watching me. And I did not realize there was a figure there when she was, I thought it was a raccoon or something that she was seeing. And this is kind of off to the side. As soon as my flash recharged, I um, snapped another photo and it was just a little bit off from where the other one was. That figure is still there, but there's like a mist right here between me and the figure. And my husband pointed out, it almost looks like there's another figure forming right here. And if you look in this one, whatever that is, is now looking right at me. If you look, the face is towards me and it's like it's almost turning. Then this is, again, like I kind of angled across my yard, almost like a panorama, panoramic, sorry. Um, Ginger is now patrolling along the back of the fence. And I catch this orb right here. To me, it looks like it's a woman's face in the middle of the orb. And it looks like it's got movement, almost like a, a trail. And there's another little orb here. And this is the corner towards our lot. And that's my bird feeders that I've got out. There's another orb right here. which has another face in it. I think that's a bug, but I'm not sure. And 
this is kind of at the end of our house, towards the lot again. And there's the multicolored orb again. Which, to me, almost looks like it's got a dog or a wolf or something in it. Because you can see an eye, eye, ears, and like a muzzle right here. But then again, if you guys see something different, please feel free to let me know. And I'm, I'm thinking that's like bugs and stuff there. And then we have this one, which is I'm panning back through. Then there's like a big mist area here. And at this point, both of my dogs were on the deck with me. I'm standing up on our back deck. So there's no animals in our yard. And if there was a living animal, my dogs would have been trying to catch it. Um, I have the blue orb here with, I can't make out what's inside it, but the part that got me, because I did not see this until I was reviewing my photos, there's something right here, you can see two eyeballs, I'm not sure what it is. You can't zoom in and make anything out other than the two points of light and there was no lights or anything there that could show anything um, and then as you look into this mist there's an orb here which if I zoom in you can't really see much but the thing that my husband pointed out that I didn't notice until he said something is there's a figure right here if you look I'll zoom in on it um there's like a hat and a face with what my husband says looks like a beard and a mustache and under the brim of the hat you can kind of make out facial features which I'm not sure. So if you guys see it, let me know. And again, this is a couple minutes after. And that's Ginger. And there's an orb right above her head. With something in it. I'm not sure what. And there's an orb there. And there's like a blue mist right here. All through this area, but it's more prominent right there. And as I zoom in, there is something there. And again, I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't look human, but there's definitely eyes there and like a narrow type nose or something. But again, if you guys have any ideas on what it might be, let me know. And then I've got these that I took because I was hearing almost sound like somebody talking behind me and like above, like, so I snapped a couple pictures. Um, this is a bug or something, I believe there. And again, there's all kinds of orbs. There's a blue one there. And 
I can't really, there's something there, but I can't make out what it is. My eyes aren't good enough. And this was taken once my flash recharged again. And it looks like there's something in here. something in this one. This can't really see too much. It's like an outer edge. But again, it's like a tunnel. And we're back to the start. So yeah, um, some of the stuff that's been happening, I've told some of my friends, but I'm going to talk it over with you guys and get your opinions and find out if any of you have experienced this as well. Um, I've had times where I'm sure you've all gone through it, where you're, you're not asleep and you know, you're not asleep, but when you close your eyes, you see things. Um, I have been seeing a lot of, best way to describe it is people <laughs> standing around me. I can see their faces. I can make out glasses. I can make out no glasses. I can see their mouths moving, but I don't hear what they're saying necessarily. Um... And there's been other times over the last couple of weeks where I've been getting like a really strong, almost sounds like a bee buzzing in one or the other or both of my ears. And I'll be sitting there and that'll start and then about maybe five minutes later. I'll hear whispers and um, I'll hear it sounds like a woman humming kind of like very low very almost like she's there but she's not there and it's been escalating around the house where stuff has been physically moved like um the other day I laid my keys on the table and then I turned around, went into another room, came back and they were hanging up on the key rack. Um, and there's been the other day for another example, it's kind of got me worried. Um, my spirits have always been very friendly, very um, reaching out, wanting to communicate. And um, the other night, everybody else was asleep. I decided to turn the TV on. And over top of the TV, a really gravelly, gruff voice, very clear, told me to get out. And then right after that, a child. I heard a child's voice calling for his mummy which I've never had that distinct. I've heard spirits, but not that, like they were standing like right there. And so if anybody has any suggestions on, like I've, I've saged, I've done, well, I haven't saged, but I've done blessings and everything else. And I'm just, I'm not sure exactly what's happening. Um, so if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment and I thank you so much for watching my videos and I do appreciate each and every one of you and have a good night.